Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I just want to do things a little different. Now, yesterday I hit the water and I did a little fishing out there in the marsh here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go through that footage so I can have a video for you today. Typically, I like to leave you on a high note going into the weekend of some action and some fishing adventure I just came back on. Due to my busy schedule this week, I just haven't had a chance to. So what I want to do is talk to you about this week, upcoming weekend's fishing forecast and leave you with a few clips from my last couple times out on the water. Now, this weekend today and this weekend, we have a northeast wind blowing. So what that typically means is that if you want to find some level of success out there on the water, you need to find some north shoreline to fish doesn't mean that you have to go on the north end of West Bay or on the north end, but you can find some north shoreline to fish, say if you're in the marsh area, and try to, when you're looking at your route that you want to take, try to have those northern shorelines where you can try to target some fish and try to find some cover. Now yesterday when I was out fishing, the water level was a little higher than it normally is, but I just got off the phone with a friend of mine and he's on the seawall and he told me that the water, the tide is blown out and the water level is very low. However, that water on the seawall on the beachfront is super clear. He said it looks like Florida out there. So if you want to do any beach fishing with a very flat tide, with a very flat surf and great visibility, I think this weekend will be a great opportunity for you because it's going to remain that way or at least forecast it to remain that way throughout the weekend. Now that being said, speaking of the weekend, that bite forecast is, it is fair to low. I am often asked how much fate and stock do I put in that bite forecast? Now typically for me, it's a 50-50 because I have had tremendous success out there with a low forecast and I I've had days where I really struggle with the high bite forecast but like I said this weekend is gonna be fair to poor so typically what that means to me is that I really need to have a plan A and a plan B and kind of have a predetermined predetermined planning that I want to that I'm going to try to execute why I am fishing for instance, I will, I will look at my route and the area I want to fish on Google Maps and make sure that I have a lot of high probable areas, a lot of hot zones, intersections, drop off, oyster reefs that I really target those areas, give myself a better opportunity to hook up. And I also look at my lure selection, what my plan A lure selection will be as well as my plan B. Now. When you're on the water and you are having difficulty hooking up to the fish, don't hesitate on changing up what you're throwing. Don't hesitate on changing up your your what your jig head weight or putting a spoon on, putting a cork on, working top water. Just be very flexible and be creative to try to lure those fish to bite. Now this weekend is the saltwater survival series. I was supposed to participate in that. Unfortunately, due to my schedule, I will not be able to be in the tournament. My son is having his first football game of the season, and I will be there to attend that. But I wish you guys luck and hope that you have great success and catch some of those big red specks and flounders out there. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's picks online and seeing all your great catches. But like I said, here is a few clips, and I wish you all great luck this weekend. Tight lines. Don't be discouraged by the forecast. Don't be discouraged by the low bite forecast. Just get out there, do the best you can, enjoy your day, enjoy your time on the water. Till next time, hopefully catch me hooking up. Uh, I think it might be the earth. Nope. Ugh. Got a baby. Babies having babies. 
Well, I thought it was, I thought it was the ground until he, he thumped it. And then I said, you're coming with me. I just told you today I ain't caught a flounder in a long time. I said I ain't caught a flounder back here in a long time. It's the third one. But he's gonna be shy. He's gonna be under. Little guy. Shh, you can't say those words on YouTube. Got this little guy, he's gonna be shy. Fight and fight angler, and he is, nope. He's 14 and a half. He is a keeper. Which dude? Four. Got him flat. He's 14 and three quarters. He's gone. Little speck. Little guy. Oh, come on. Saw him blow up right next to me. Get some bait. I thought it might have been a flounder. Nice little guy. Fresh first car of the day. Come on, DSL. There it goes. Come right out. Nice fish to get the skunk out of the boat. We're gonna fish some of these oysters. Fish around these oysters. Oysters are always great to fish around. They have a lot of bait around them. The bait fish feel protected by the oysters, so they'll hang out, and then you'll catch the predator fish in the same area chasing that bait. Damn! Little red. I didn't know what it was. He was swimming right at me. I didn't think I had a fish on. That's funny. Didn't know I had a fish on. Little red, little rat red. He decided to take a bite out of that voodoo shad. We'll get him out of there real quick. Okay. That's the only reason why I broke the net out because I thought it was a flounder. All of a sudden it was like n nothing was there, then all of a sudden I had something. Okay, guy. We'll get you out real quick. Little baby guy. There we go. Got him. Whew. Trying to get him before I got in this. Oysters, I don't want to get broken off. Man. That might be slot. That might be my limit. We'll see. We'll see. I think he might make it. Nice fish, though. Here we go, bite and fight angler. Corner of the mouth, caught him slipping. I think he's gonna be short. He fought good though, he good, very good fight man. Reds, you gotta love that fight. Uh, yeah, this is a dirty, dirty board though. Let's see him, he's gonna come in at 20. 20 and three quarters. 20 and three quarter red fish right here. You can see how he has some pink on him. See all that? That's from 
him banging himself in the oysters chasing that bait that's in there so that's kind of where I caught him pulling around in that oyster reef I was working on bottom for a flounder caught a red I will take him that's gonna limit it's gonna be my limit for the day normally don't keep fish today I am keeping there we go 